what's going on <clears throat> hope you guys are doing well i'm doing well went to a concert last night that was pretty fun um went to go and see tool took my son sebastian and uh it was his very first rock concert and uh i think he's i think he'll be a fan for life now so <laughs> that was a really really good show um all right so i've been I've got three projects going i've got the like bigger hardcover journals sort of um i've got the little monthly minis which hopefully will be done uh, in march um and then i've got another set of journals that i started on and are almost done these guys so these are it started out i was just doing some collage just you know for utilitarian purposes on some large pieces of like cardstock that I was given that had come out of like this really big album. And um, anyway, so just, you know, blank paper, kind of like cardstock said collage me. So I've been, I was doing that anyway. So they just sort of turned into journals. And um, so I've got like 18 of these that I'm working on and I've got the covers done. So I just did the, I did the covers, stitched them onto some um duck cloth that i washed i i washed it just to soften it up um and i love how it's just gotten super frayed around the edges and stuff i tore it into i think i had like four yards of it and i tore it into like fat quarter sizes so they all frayed like really cool around the edges and then um anyways just put some pockets on them and stitched the signatures in kind of a cool way to stitch these um i have some some french like documents that i got from um from forever french recently i bought some more stuff from her by the way um and i was looking at the way some of them were bound so some of these documents are printed on these big like ledger size pages and then they're folded in half and then in thirds in right and the way that they bind them is they basically just poke a hole towards the top, goes through the back, and then they just tie it in a knot right there. And then they do the same thing on the bottom. And that holds it really sturdy. And it's not even real super tight. Like the the binding is, is relatively loose. So I don't know. I just think that is kind of a cool way to, to bind a simple you know, single signature journal. So anyway, I just want to show that to you guys. But anyway, so I'm working on these and these are kind of, I don't know, like they're sort of, sort of junky and, um, scrapbook paper that I've had for a long, long time. Just pulled a whole bunch of it, um, uh, book pages and stuff like that. So I really want to, these are not done. I plan to embellish these more than I have been lately. And what I, what I was inspired to do was I have a junk box. <laughs> Actually, I have a couple of them, but this is the one that I've just been tossing stuff into that I thought would be good for like clusters, you know? So I've got this whole box of stuff. I don't even know a lot of what's in there anymore. And then I've got a couple other you know, like collections of things that I think would be great for clusters. So this box just has all kinds of little things. If anybody remembers, I used to have this tray that I had, you know, um, all of this type of stuff sort of organized in there. And I know a lot of you guys wonder what happened to that tray. It's gone. I don't use it anymore. I just dumped it all in here. And so that's what a lot of this stuff is. It's just little, little bits of paper, um, you know, little scraps of things. There's some tickets and some, you know, Tim Holtz stuff there. I bought um, a couple of those, those new like ephemera packs that he put out recently. Uh, I bought one of the large ones and one of the small ones. So it's kind of just like duplicates, um, but one is like teeny and one's bigger. Anyway, so a bunch of it just got dumped in here. 
just this is just kind of all random stuff there's like punched paper things in here and you know my little there's a couple of these little tiny dictionaries that i like to pull pages out of um this is kind of like my cluster ephemera stuff okay um what else um i have this box that has just this little box that's got all these little teeny um like tag shapes that are, they're punched out okay uh, i have this punch, paper punch i'm sure a lot of you guys have the same one but it punches three sizes of little tiny tags so there's those and i just one day i just sat and punched a whole bunch of them out of you know scraps of uh, different kinds of paper so there's that and i'm just kind of showing you what i'm working with but and then um back in the day when i was working on tiles all the time i was really into uh words and you know having words to add to my tiles and so i printed stuff out on different types of paper different fonts different just different random words okay so that's what a lot of this is um, some of them are like on little um, banner shapes or little stars. It's just all kinds of weird stuff. And then those little Tim Holtz, um, those like snippets that are the stickers, the different um, different little like cut out of like a book book pages, you know. Um, there's a bunch of that stuff in here, and then some stamped words. So, anyways, I just have this. I was bag full of these are all just like words and stuff um they're all pretty small so it's kind of hard to show them to you guys um so <laughs> oh my god it's crazy and then oh so this is a bunch of the these are some of those um those tim holtz they're like die cuts but i'm really glad that he made these a little bit thinner and the paper uh, like the, the borders of them aren't white, white. Well, this one happens to be, but that might be from a different set. I don't know, but they're, they're kind of like, um, they're more distressed looking already. So you don't feel like you have to ink them a lot. Um, and they're thinner, they're way thinner than the other, uh, sets of these that, that, that they've made. So, yeah, so I kind of like them, like I like them better than than the other ones than the old ones so yeah so there's those in here i just have the little the smaller ones are in this little bag so i want to use some of those probably and this is just little embellishment things and then i've got a bunch of um these are just little tiny images just small images that i've printed out of people these are well they're not all people but they're just little pictures that mostly my family members and stuff um so those i thought would be kind of cool to use in some clusters and then there's also some like botanical stuff that i printed out real small and this is printed on the um the contact sheet setting and i made those because i like to do these little these little frames you know where i put you put a picture in there and then um, you know, glue that shut and then you have a little picture in there and I put some acetate and stuff. So that's why I have so many of these little, these little pictures. And <clears throat> anyway, so they're just all in here. And then what else did I pull out to use? Some stamps, some postage stamps. So I just grabbed, you know, a handful from my, my big box of postage stamps and stuff. So I can pull some stuff from there. And then some more stamps. These are these are more like stamps that were like um, not canceled, and they were all sort of like in sheets, you know, for the most part. So that's what a lot of this is. There's some airmail labels, you know. So lots of the the older, cooler stamps that that I have are in here. Okay, so that's those. And then I've got a couple boxes of these anagram letters. So I thought these would be kind of fun to use in some of those clusters. These are cool. They're pink on the back. And, and even maybe the box. So that these ones are, these ones are just uh, like on chipboard 
color, you know, but I thought those would be fun. I thought these would be cool to make charms. And, and then from making those journal covers, I wound up with a bunch of scraps of that, um, that duck cloth and it's like a real heavy muslin, you know, or canvas or whatever. So I've got a bunch of scraps from that. And so then I just pulled out some other scraps of different kinds of utility fabric. This is a feed sack and this is some coffee dyed duck cloth. This was a bag that I got some stuff from India in. Um, so just different kinds of like white fabric, white ish fabric. Um, and then the big box. Well, I pulled out my box of little feed sack scraps and stuff too. So I could use some of those. And then this, oh, this is crazy. Um, see, I've just got like boxes. These are just little teeny tiny little, little paper things. Some of these are things that I fussy cut. There's some letters or some words in there little bugs and butterflies and um, just little tiny things. Some of these are Tim Holtz ephemera. These are just little, little insects that I actually fussy cut, you know. I must be out of my mind. Some um, little punched paper flowers. So, I don't know. I, <laughs> yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff in here. Some paper scraps. This is from some incense. You know, it's just all stuff that I thought was cool that I didn't want to, I probably just didn't want to put it away um, or I just thought it was cool and I, you know, so it's all just sort of wound up in this box. There's a, there's some book spines, pieces from book spines in here. Um, some paper ruffles that I made. These are little like applique pieces from some linens. There's a bunch of um, matchbook covers in here. You know, this little sewing thread label. So I thought what I would do is just take this, take this, this box of stuff. And I mean, oh, these are some of those, um, those prescriptions. Remember the prescription pages that I had? And I told you guys that I had pulled some of them off of the paper that they were glued onto in the big book. Well, this is how they turned out. <laughs> and I found them. I, when I was doing the video, when I offered some of that stuff for sale, I couldn't find them. And well, here they are. So this is little stubs from a payment book. Anyway, so I thought what I'd do is just kind of dump this out on my desk and um, see if I can make some clusters because I haven't made clusters for a long time. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to use those. So yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Don't you guys think that'll be fun? Just all kinds of random stuff. All these little mini flashcards. So I want to dump it out because it's hard to see what's in here. Um, <laughs> in the box. You know, I hope there's nothing embarrassing in here. Oh, this is a one love stamp that Tracy sent me a long time ago. <laughs> um, there's, oh, here's a little cluster that I had made just sort of on the fly. Just has some card and some fabric and I guess I paper clipped it together because I was going to stitch it on my sewing machine. So maybe that's, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll put, I'll put some of these together. And what I normally do when I make clusters is I staple them. These are, what is this? Oh, some little glassine envelopes. Oh my God. It's crazy. Okay. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll staple them together and then when I stitch them, I'll just make sure I don't hit my staple. 
you know, always have to be careful. Anyway, so basically when I make these, like I, well, usually I'm a little bit more organized, but what I want are clusters that I can use on the edges of pages. So I did a couple earlier so I can use them like, um, like tuck spots on the edge of a page, you know? Um, so then I just layered, I made these before I pulled out this whole box. So these are mostly the like Tim Holtz ephemera pack things, you know, little book page. So my thinking when I do these is that I want these to be sort of just haphazard, you know, I don't want them to be totally, um, you know, laid out and perfect. Like I really just want them to appear to be a collection of random ephemera that somebody, you know, in a fictitious life, that these things meant something to them for a particular reason. And that's why they're clustered together and they're attached to this page in this really precious journal. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I think about when I'm doing these. It's like, I don't want there to be a theme or, you know, any kind of real meaning to me about any of these pieces, you know, I just want them to be very random and spontaneous and um, basically meaningless, you know, so that, so that, you know, somebody who's, who gets this can say, wow, you know, I wonder what that meant. Or I wonder if this person really went to that show or, you know, like they found it in someone's house or something. I don't know. It's just my, it's just my way of, of kind of, um, keeping it loose, you know, anyway, so apparently these were a couple of little clusters that I put together a while ago. So sometimes, it, you know, it's hard for me to, um, be in the mood to do this stuff. And, you know, like I get in the mood for it and then I just go crazy with it and then it goes away. And, oh, this is a little charm. It's a little cat. Uh, yeah, and then it just goes away, and <clears throat> um, and then I just don't do it again for a long time. So basically, what I normally do when I make clusters is I find something that can be like a base, okay? Um, so I think about that this will be attached to a page or something, and so I don't generally use a piece of fabric as my base because it's kind of hard to slide a piece of paper, like, you know, like say this is a card in a journal, like it's hard to slide that if this is a tuck spot and like, it's just attached on the edge of a page. If I want to just slide something under there, it's better if that is paper rather than fabric. So like this one, this one would be difficult to use the way it is. Actually, that's two um, because it's this, it's this fabric here. The fabric isn't going to um, allow me to tuck something under it as easily. Like it will, but you see what I mean? Like pretend this is the book page and if you lift that up, to put something under there, the fabric isn't gonna, like the fabric is too flexible. So you sort of want something that's a little bit stiffer, like a piece of cardstock or something or from a box. So I'm just going to actually use this and, um, I've already got a staple in it. So why don't I just do paper clips? Because that seems to be the most reasonable thing to do. I'm going to grab some bigger sort of large paper clips and that way I can just stitch them together um, you know with the sewing machine and I don't have to worry about the staple I mean I know I could do it with the staple but I'd rather not have to worry about it so like this one is done this one is done see it's paper on the back but I've got some fabric in there you know so they're just uh, Hey, that's pretty cool. I've got a whole bunch done already. So I need to find something as a base for this one. Let's 
Let's see, maybe one of these. This is just kind of like um, like cardstock weight a little bit. So yeah, that'll work. And lots of people make these clusters. You know, lots of people are into into doing this. I like to combine fabric and paper together when I make these little layered embellishments. You know. And then a lot of times what I do is I come back in after I get a whole stack of them done. Um, I'll stitch them together or staple them together because usually I do staple them. Um, and then um, I'll add like a little button or, you know, some other kind of little embellishment. And so, you know, I just really try not to be too particular about the way things the way things wind up you know and so my my thinking is that i try to keep this together in one point so i hold it in my two fingers and um and that way a single staple uh will hold it together so let's see I want to use a little piece of fabric, so I use, I'll just use that. And then let's put a stamp in here. So you know what I'm saying about, you know, holding it between those two fingers. So that sort of simulates a staple, you know. And then let's just put that letter F on there. Okay. <clears throat> so like I said, normally I'm just going to staple it because that's, that's just what I do. And that way it holds it together. <laughs> Okay, so that's one little cluster. Um, I kind of like using these matchbooks. These seem to work pretty well. Um, I don't like to make these too thick either. I'm, you know, I try to I try to keep them. So, like, I like the that part of that. I'm just gonna tear off part of it. And then I might as well just use that little piece of book page. Um, I like that word, resilient. And let me see. Let me find a... Um, let's use a stamp. So I would like to use up this whole pile of stuff. Don't you think that would be, that would be good? If I could use it all up. Let's use this little stamp. Put it right there. I still want to be able to read that word, so I'll just stick it in like that. And I actually think that's good for this one. So, yeah. Easy. Just a cute little, little layered, little layered thing. Let me pull out a little bit more in the way of stamps and some anagrams too, some anagram letters. I love using stamps. couple more of these letters out here. I do like to have a good, you know, selection of stuff out that, that I want to use. Oh, you know what I forgot to grab is I have this whole box of, um, preserved labels. Like, whoops like these. Um, let me see if they're just right here. Where'd they go? Uh, nope, I can't find them. Oh well, that's okay. No big deal. Let me pull out a couple of these images too.
and I can, I'm just going to cut around these because typically you wouldn't find a photograph torn around the edges, right? I mean, usually like if you just found one, it's not generally torn around the edges. It's usually going to be cut. I like this one. It's got all these pictures of small people. <laughs> That's my grandpa. It's my grandpa on his horse out on the farm. Okay. So then, yeah, another. Oh, I've got these cards. These are like those name cards, you know, and I don't know these people, but they make good little bases. So I just leave a little bit of that little flourish showing. Let's grab a little piece of paper or a little piece of fabric. And we'll pretend that's going to be our staple right there. And what's that? Oh, that's like a little price tag. And something smaller. So I generally work, you know, large to small on these. And I try to have at least, you know, three to five pieces. Um, for some reason, even numbers, I, I don't really like. Not sure why. It's just a composition thing. Oh, so a lot of these have writing on the back of them, too. A lot of these little name cards. They have writing on the back of them. So use a little piece of that book spine. Let's make it go that way. And then I want a little piece of fabric. Let's see. Could go like that. Day. <laughs> okay, so you can see a little bit of the writing, some of the book spine. Um, let's add that picture. And, oh, let's put a stamp. Some kind of older, more vintage era stamp. Oh, that's perfect. It's from the Seattle World's Fair. Okay, and then the letter X for kiss. So there, it's just a, it's an interesting, you know, like totally random um, cluster of ephemera. And, you know, if, if that's the sort of the, that's the definition of ephemera, right? It, it's, it's a, it's like a, a memory represented on paper usually usually it's some sort of paper item you know um i kind of liked using that that was cool so let's see um this is a this is a tab okay wait fabric first let's put a little fabric on this right there pretend my staple goes here and then so this is kind of why it's nice to have um, have your stuff like kind of organized and laid out is so that you can just grab stuff with one hand. I want to use some of this uh, prescription. So there, I'm going to, yeah, yeah, I like that. That's fine. And then how about this little ticket? Maybe some of these little red saver stamps. And then put this random little Tim Holtzy thing on there. So I'm not even really worrying about like the color or you know, much of anything. Really, the only thing I'm trying to do is go 
from large to small, like building up. Um, those are kind of like my only criteria. Oh, here's another one. Oh, wait, that's the one I just did. Or no, did I do that one before? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, here's another one. This one has some lace in it. So um, the other thing, too, is I try to... Um, I try to make sure that some of them uh, would be, pl the placement of it, it would be on the left and some on the right. So, so that not all of them would need to be used on one side or the other, you know? So I like that one and I kind of want to leave some of the writing visible. So I'm just going to make sure or pretend my staple is right there. I kind of like these red stamps in here. Let's do that. And then, oh, these little mushrooms. And how about a ticket? Yeah, I think that's good. There's no fabric in this one, but that's okay. Just a little piece of paper. And then, you know, you can come back and um, do some inking on it if you want to, if you want to kind of grunge it up a little bit more, just sort of work on each layer just a little bit. You could do it with a brush too. That would be real easy or, you know, just, just totally, um, you know, random. So, and I'm using the tiny attacher, so it's just a little tiny staple, but it's enough to hold it together, you know, let's use this one with the writing. I just love these with the, with, you know, the handwriting on them. Um, oh, this is the, I wonder if I can sew through this. Probably this was like from some, um, um, seam binding. I love this thing too. This is like, this was inside the cover of a book. I want to use that. Um, that little guy let's see maybe a piece of um like feed sack something or other how about like that oh that looks good i love these i love these little scraps of feed sack okay and then we might as well put this guy in there because it's really thin and it's great for for clusters you know um, because I don't like them to be too thick if oh and then I'll do another one of the um, postage stamps from the World's Fair um, I want something real small now how about one of those little um, those little Tim Holtz like flowers or a mushroom or something like that. Oh, a butterfly. Yeah. Let's grab one of the butterflies. There we go. Okay. And then staple it. So there's that one. I know this is probably really hard for you guys to look at um, because it looks like such a big mess, but I don't want to sort it out. Um, yeah, I really don't feel like sorting it out. So I'm just going to sit here and make a gazillion clusters. And then, you know, I'll have them to use in these journals. So I'm going to pick out some words. I'll do one or two more. I love the writing on these. Um, this is one thing I love to use um, postcards, like old postcards. Four, I love to use those for clusters because they've always got really cool handwriting on the back of them. Okay, so I want some kind of, well, maybe this, um, let's orient this one to the left. Um, I'll use that paper, that paper ruffle. 
I need some fabric. I really like how these look in there. These little feed sack pieces. Let's put two. <laughs> and then... <laughs> about a stamp from Nicaragua. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A ticket. We'll do a ticket first. Okay. And then a stamp. Then that's a little, no, I don't like that. Um, this came from a book page. There's one of my hairs in there came from a little kid's book, uh, book page. So, th so then I like to do a, w a word sometimes and <clears throat> sometimes I'll, I'll actually come back later and just glue a word on there somewhere. Um, or sometimes whoops, I don't have to do that with my left hand. Um, but usually I just staple it in like that and that holds it kind of temporarily and it's really not temporarily. It's, it's pretty sturdy, you know, but, um, if I'm going to use this, like if I'll use any of these on the cover of a journal, usually I will come in and, you know, glue stuff, some of this stuff down, like tack it down. So it doesn't, um, you know, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, you know, it's more sturdy that way. So anyway, yeah. So look at how quick I made like five clusters, five or six clusters, you know, that one was already done. So was that one. So I made like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clusters in like, you know, 20 minutes. So because I, maybe less than that, 15 minutes, because I was blabbering for like 10 minutes. So anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to get this uploaded. I just kind of wanted to, you know, show you guys what I was up to and maybe re-inspire you to use some of your crap, some of your junk. And, um, you know, if you happen to have a box that's just like your catch-all of of all of your, you know, weird little odds and ends that, you know, you've been hanging on to, this is a good way to use it up. And then, um, you know, as we go down through this series where I'm working on those journals, I'll show you how I use these in a journal too. So, okay. So I'm going to try to get this pile worked down a lot and, um, I'll just put these like in a bowl or in a box or something. And then when I feel like I've, you know, done whatever I want to do, um, then I'll go back and I will actually, I will probably stitch these on the sewing machine. And um, sometimes what I'll do is, um, or I guess, I guess I shouldn't say what I do, but what I was thinking I would do is I could actually just pull that staple really easy with a pair of pliers as I go. Um, or not. Like I could just leave it there and sew around it, you know? Anyway, um, I sew over pins all the time. So, okay guys, that's it. I'm done. Okay. Bye for now. Love you.